Hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, and like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, welcome to part two of the overhaul project on the Axial SCX-10 II. Now, if you're just tuning in for the first time, hey, appreciate you for watching. Uh, I've been working on my new Axial SCX-10 II, which I just recently got uh, a few weeks ago, and I wanted to start a little project build on it. I wanted to change out the body shell, the shocks, the rims and tires, and maybe a few other things down the road. Uh, I don't know exactly yet. <laughs> <laughs> I usually try to plan out my little projects as I do them, you know, or before I do them, you know, right? Uh, so, uh, um, part one was installing the new shocks, which I decided to go with these Hot Racing Black Internal Spring Air Shocks, 100 millimeters. Uh, as you can see here, they're already installed. Now, I do want to mention that uh, none of the advertisement you see here, I'm not getting paid for it. So, I'm not getting paid to sponsor, or I'm not getting sponsored for this video. I just think when I see a good product or you know something I you know, I would recommend, I you know tell people about it. All right, so back to the shock. So I got the stocks, you know, the shocks installed on it. Uh, if you have not seen that video, I will include a link down in the description box where you can see that video. I gave a really great tip on how to make these shocks perform a lot better uh, than one you know from the factory. So definitely watch that. Okay, so on the rims and tires, which this is what this video is going to be, I was actually going to film the whole process of actually putting the tire together, but uh, I started having a few little issues, and I was like, hey, I'm, I got to focus on something. Either focus on these tires or focus on the camera or try to do both, but I was like, eh, that's a little too much. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to focus on the tires as long, along and, and, and get these things together. Now, I will say it took me probably a day and a half to put these things together because of what the issues I was having. And I'll talk about those issues in just a little bit, all right? So, uh, my uh, initial plan, I was going to go with the 1.9 G-Made B-Lock rims, which is these ones right here. They come in a three-piece kit, uh, so like that, so like this, all right? And, uh, and the tires I was going to go with were a set of tires that I had laying around. It was the Super Swamper TSX XLs, which is the larger of the Super Swampers here, uh, which is the 1.9 version, but they fit onto, you know, the 1.9. They're just a little bit more tall attire, uh, as you can see, just, a, you know, a little bit more taller, a little bit more wider tire. Uh, it's still the same size as, like, the ones on the uh, SCX-10 II now, which are, the, these are Nitto Trail Grabbers. So it's the same size, just a little bit more wider pattern here, and they look nice, all right? Now you probably see the rims already mounted, which these, I'll talk about those, as you can see here. Boom, there we go, all right, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so these are not chrome. There's kind of like a black, blackish kind of chrome to it. So, uh, but yeah. So here's the thing. I was actually on eBay last week looking around because I always, you know, we always look on eBay for crawler stuff or RC stuff, and I came across a four pack of beadlock rims mounted on Super Swampers TSX or TSLs, and so I ended up getting a set, and it had these rims, beadlocks. It also comes with these little center caps to go over top of like so, which we'll sh you know, see that more uh, once I you know, put them on there. So I get them in and uh, I notice something. These are knockoff versions of the Super Swamper TSLs. TSLs, <laughs> I, I wanna say TSX or TSL or, yeah. But anyway, these are knockoff versions. I was like, okay, Proline, hey, somebody out there knocking off your version or your Super Swampers. So here's the Proline edition ones, all right? So these are Proline. Eh, let's give a close up view. All right, so this is the one, this is the, uh, from Proline, all right? Look at this, same. Now here's the knockoff version. Same exact tire. Feels like the same compound, maybe a little thicker on this one, but uh, still, yeah, comparison. just alike same thing the only thing is that it says super swampers or super swamper and look at this it says uh, rock T 
I don't know how to say it, type. It, it says T Y R E versus you see, uh, if we can get a you know, good light source here. <laughs> uh, it's actually got the T S X T S L S X. I don't know why I keep mixing it up, but yeah. So yeah. Now uh, the foam in these tires were kind of like this cheap everyday foam stuff. So yeah. <laughs> but other than that, they're super awesome tires. Now. I was going to film the whole process of actually putting these rims together, but like I said, I have an issue. And the issue was, is that with these three-piece bead locks, they're a little different than like the original bead locks on the uh, original SDX-10 where you had actually the bead lock uh, ring. Uh, these go, there's like, uh, there's actually six screws, six nuts on the back here. And it's a three-piece. The problem is having, since I'm using a lot a little bit more bigger tire. There's a lot more, uh, excuse me guys, my throat's a little. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot more foam inside of these tires here. So it was kind of making it hard to actually get a good secure connection between the tires or between the, uh, uh, the bead locks there. Or a good connection between the tires or a good connection between, you know, a good connection. <laughs> So just screw that up, but you know what? I'm going on. I'm not stopping on this video. <laughs> Done enough array, but yeah. All right. So trying to put the you know the beads together because with the three piece kit, you have there's a middle part right here, right? This middle part, all right, goes inside of the tire like so. All right. So just kind of a general show you kind of way. All right. So, and we go in there like so. I'm not going to go full fledged into this. So, you take your front part, your rear part, and you slap them together like so. Right? It's kind of like a worse kind of way to look at it. And I just dropped the top rim part. <laughs> a lot of mishapping on this video. But, yeah, alright. But back to it. Okay. So you're gonna get the, uh, the the hex screws and some the nuts for the back here. Now uh, they'll send you two long actual hex screws, and so once you get them together, and I recommend getting some of these clamps here. You can get these at like Harbor Freight or uh, any uh, Home Depot, you know, Lowe's, whatever. Uh, I got these at Walmart. I, I think I 22 piece set for like. 10 bucks or something like that. So I went with it, uh, so that. So, you know, that's a good way to kind of clamp these things together so you can actually get your screws in. So you're gonna take those two long screws, you're gonna put them through, and, uh, and you tighten them up. So you wanna do a few turns on that one, a few turns on that one, a few turns on that one, a few turns on that one. You know, just kind of rotate back and forth on it, all right? So once you get a good secure connection, and also make sure you check the bead around the ram itself because you uh, you want to make sure you have a good secure bead on it, right? So after you get this two tightened down, then you can actually start putting your other uh, smaller uh, hex screws in there and actually get the same down. And once you you got those, you know, the short screws in, you can actually back out the other one, the two long ones, and then put your short ones in there. So, try to say that as good as I can. <laughs> All right, so, now with these right here, now these bead locks are the three piece as well, and focus, focus, all right. Well, what I had to do is I actually had to unbolt all the uh, hex screws off of so I can change out the tires. Now what I ended up doing on this product is I used a little small magnet here. And what I did with the small magnet is I stood it right in the back of the rim, like so. And it fits in nice, it's like almost a 1.9 magnet. So I put it on the back that way because the, some of the screws would actually fall, or not screws, but some of the nuts would actually fall off and I didn't want to lose those those uh, those nuts there. So I put that magnet behind it and just take my hex screw and just, just or hex screwdriver and just undo them and that way the nuts would fall right onto the magnet so I wouldn't lose that so that is a trick when it comes to using those bead locks. 
All right, so yeah, so I you know got them off, put the new ones on. Uh, another issue I was having with the uh, with the new ones here is that uh, they didn't have like the regular one like here like from the uh, G Mate. They had one so it's like white and then it has some like groove areas where actually the front cap would slide in place. So I was having problems trying to match those up and then with the foam getting in the way because it wanted to not have a good <clears throat> secure um, to the you know to the other B lock there, uh, it was causing me problems. So I decided to change it out and put these in there. Well, I think maybe two two out of four might have them. <laughs> I don't remember. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right, so let's get to mounting these onto the SCX10 and uh, see how they're going to look. All right, so let's do it. All right, folks, so I got my tools laid out and what I need to put the rims and tires on there. So first off, I have my screwdriver, my electric screwdriver. This is a Drillmaster 4.8 cordless volt uh, screwdriver. Uh, and I'll tell you the reason why I have that for it. I actually shared it in uh, the first video. But I uh, also have my wheel key here. And I have a bit for the drill. And then I have my uh, hex key screwdriver here. Now over here in the pan, I have the uh, center caps for the rims along with the screws. And uh, they actually give you some extra screws. I just put there, uh, there I put them there just so you can see it, but uh, there's a total of five screws for each of uh, uh, each hubcap here. So let's get to putting these things on there. So first off, we have to remove the new, uh, the old ones, and put the new ones on. And I'm actually going to do this, and uh, I showed you all in the first video exactly what I do here. So I put this one bit here. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but this is a 7 by 32 and I want to say it's like MP7 or something like that. I can't remember what it actually is, but it fits right into my screwdriver. Then I take my little, you know, wheel lock key here and slide it onto the 5.5 slide uh, side and it goes in like so. And that way that was just another bit, a magnet bit. So, I'm going to take my wheels off by doing this way. That way I don't have to sit there and do it manually. Who wants to do manually? You know, who wants to do it like, you know, by hand? So, just put it on there like so. And, boom. It is off. Put it over here in the magnet tray. Look at that. How sweet is that to do? So, we're going to take it off. Boom. <laughs> so yeah. So just another comparison between the stock tire, which is a Neto tire, and then the Super Swamper. So uh, you might say not really a big deal there, but you know, a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more uh, width to it. <laughs> All right. So let's take out the old Neto tire. Stay that to the side. We'll put our new one on, like so. Make sure it's locked in place. All right, so we're gonna get to our get the screwdriver, put the bit back on it, that back on there, and we're gonna put it back on there like so. Forward, and there we go. You want to make sure you don't over torque it because you can actually cause some serious damage if you over torque it. So make sure you don't really torque it too much. So I got it on there. That's pretty good. Now, uh, I guess we'll install the rest of them. So let's, uh, well, I got to uh, <laughs> do my unlock here on my thing. There we go. It should. Well, you know what? <laughs> there we go. All right. So let's do it on this one here. Boom, 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 boom. I'll screw this one too as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> we don't want to lose these little you know screws here or little uh, wheel nuts. All right. So get it off. 
Boom, boom. Ah. <laughs> All right, next one. Put it on. All right, so we'll put our little nut on here. A little lug nut. Let's call it the lug nut instead of the wheel nut. The lug nut. Yeah. All right. Reel it down. Ha, ah, the hair. Yeah. Nice. Looking pretty good so far. And, uh, you know, one thing I really love about these you know, this rims is that it's going with the color scheme of the project that I wanted to do. Let me bring the vehicle a little more closer so we can actually see. What are you doing? Alright, let us turn the camera this way. Alright. Now, we got it on. So, uh, <laughs> a little hard to turn due to the new tires. Alright. So we got our other tires. It's time to put on the turn. Put on the turn. Da, 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 da. Backwards. All right, my friend. Uh, yeah. All right. Huh. Well, that is a magnet there, but didn't catch on. All right. Boom. All right. Ah, uh, the third one. Here it goes. All right. Got a good secure link. We put it on, put our, our wheel nuts. A lug nut. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Drill. Alright, there we go. Big improvement so far. So look at the tires. Hey, look at this right here. Alright. Move this out the way. Alright. Alright, alright. Let me grab the camera just to show y'all. Uh, look at this. Yeah, you see the difference, my friends? New tire, the old tire. Now I'm kind of, you know, sitting on the thing, and it's a little bit off of the ground. A little bit more clearance on that. So that's pretty sweet, hopefully. And let's lock the camera back in place on the tripod. Uh, all right, let's go. All right, there we go. All right. So let's do the next one, the last one. Then we'll go back and put our hub caps on it, or the center caps. I don't know why I quite call it hub caps for. All right, ah, there we go. Take it off. The last one. And of course, uh, you probably are, are wondering why is one tire shinier than the other one? Well, my friends, actually, this is the old pair. Uh, well, not old pair, they're new, but I never took them out of the pack. Uh, ProLine actually got up me a few years ago and they actually sent me the, you know, the one, the, the Super Twomper XLs here. And I had to get another set, which I just recently bought another set. Uh, so that's why one looks newer and one looks faded. Alright, so let's put our little key back on, get our little lug nut in there. Screw it in place. All right, there we go. So now it's time to put the uh, little center caps on, which are these little puppies here. If we uh, see if I can get the camera to focus, focus. Will it focus? Will it, ah, almost. Ah, there we go. All right. So yeah. So I'm gonna put those on. All right, so I got my center cap right here, and I got one of the screws in there. So I'm gonna take my hex screwdriver, and uh, we're gonna try to do this as the best as we can while we're working in this way. So, all right, so line it up just perfectly, and boom. That should be it. Give it a good snuggle. Now you're probably saying, well, where's your fancy screwdriver with your know, hex bit? I don't actually have one of those. I just have the regular, you know, old bits. I need to get some. I really need to get some of those. It'd be really nice. All right. And do it like so. Now we'll grab the other one. Now you want to do it kind of like an actual, you know, real tire. You want to go left, you know, left, right, you know, left, right, you know. You just kind of want to mix it up a little bit. All right. Let's... So how about we just go ahead and speed up the process on this? 
All right, my friends, so finally finished installing the center caps. As you see, it turned out great. Loving the new rims and the tires as well. Look at this, just very sweet, my friends. Let's give it a little turn around. So pretty monster looking tires here. Uh, so the build is coming together. Still got a little bit more work to do before this thing is ready to roll. So uh, yeah. So I uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, click that like button. Let me know that you liked it. And if you got any questions or comments, let me know, my friends. All right, so uh, stay tuned for the next upcoming videos on the project build of the SCX-10 II. And I'll see you guys later.